Hello everyone, this is Ashley from Ashley's Creations and I have a paper tray ink haul to share with you. Yes, I did order this month. Um, there were just way too many cute things from the last two months not to order. So um, I ordered some things from the April release and I ordered some things from the May release. So I'll split them up and show you the stuff from the April release first. So, um, and you know, I didn't even order on release night because I got paid on, it, release night was Thursday, I got paid on Friday, so I had to wait until I got paid on Friday. And I didn't order till like the evening on Friday, and I still got it on Wednesday of the following week. So that was one, I mean, it was UPS too, so. Does UPS deliver on Saturday, on Sundays? Do they do that on Saturdays? I mean, I don't think they work on Saturdays, but. Anyway, so and it would have been Monday, Tuesday, and then I got it Wednesday. So that was not very long at all, so I was very pleased. Um, so the first thing I got is the Keep It Simple Anniversary set, so I didn't get this obviously in the a April release, so I wanted to make sure that I caught up on this and I picked up, you know, the $5 sets that I like to collect. So this one is the anniversary one, so it says Anniversary Wishes, and you got, um, Happy, and you got Anniversary in a bunch of different fonts, which is nice, so that you can have, you know, the font that matches your card. Um, and then I also picked up the... Phrase Play number 3 stamp set and the matching die. So the matching die is this and it says hello and it's got the cool arrow here and you can do hello beautiful, hello love bug, hello winter, hello spring, hello summer, hello autumn, hello my name is, hello little one, hello friend, hello birthday boy, hello birthday girl, hello sweetheart or hello I miss you. And there's this little row of three stars right here so uh, that's cute. I love the Phrase Play sets. I love those. Um, and then I also love these. This is the Birthday Classics May stamp set. So it says, it's May, time to celebrate your birthday. Um, you've got this fl flourish here. Um, have a great day. Happy May birthday. Or May birthdays are the best. So I like these little black sentiments that Don McVeigh puts into these. They're really nice. And then I got a couple of the bigger sets. Um, I picked up... <clears throat> Excuse me, I picked up wet paint number two. So it's got today documented moments. The S is separate. Um, note, you have date to self or note to self. Um, you have details, day, week, month. You have this is the life photo and that. Um, you, me. Um, life with love and true story. And then you have the ampersand, the plus... And these little splotches right here. So, this is mainly for um, the packet scrapbooking or doc like some kind of scrapbooking because it's got you know the documenting type words. Um, and it's the watercolor style. So, there's that one. And then I picked up the, this is called Simply Framed. And this one is also meant for the packet scrapbooking. Um, you have these little frames down here that fit in the frame die. So you would stamp it and then you could have the little frame down here. Then you would put whatever at the top of it. So you've got the diagonal frame, diagonal stripe frame, the alphabet frame, the little grid borders and these polka dots. And you've got um, this ticket that says documented. And it says date taken. You have an ampersand. You have this snapshot. Oh, my hubby's home. Um, sorry. <laughs> snapshot. You have the real story. This arrow. We were here. You've got these circles where you can like circle something. Um, noted. Memo. So heart this in a circle. Oh, so the circles are meant to circle the, uh, the day of the week. Um, remember this in a post stamp. The bracket got this like file folder looking thing these two stars um, another ticket looking thing that says for the record and then date location um, I love this and I think that is all of the pieces in there so there's that one and of course I did get the matching frame die obviously um, the last like stamp set that I got was the football frenzy and I'm so excited for this one my family loves football. We have had Michigan State season tickets, uh, football season tickets since I was 
three years old and I'm now 27 years old so you can imagine that we love football so um, this will be good for my dad and especially my brother-in-law both of them have birthdays coming up so um, you've got the football jersey you have the white pieces of the football jersey that you can see up in a different color you have the football helmet and then the little the front of the helmet the football and then you have uh, it's not whether you get knocked down it's whether you get back up which is a quote Go team, future Hall of Famer, happy birthday champ, number one fan, and we believe in you. And then I got the coordinating football frenzy edition stamp set, which is the little mini set, and all these numbers and letters fit into the jerseys. You can customize the jersey, so I could put Dad or Mike, who's my brother-in-law, so um, I can put their names in the actual jersey. So I thought I should pick that up too, and I really wanted to get the like the stitched letterman number type things they look like a letterman jacket numbers but I had to cut somewhere so I cut those out because I didn't need them and then they got the matching dye so here's the jersey the football helmet and the football and then I got a couple dies I got the button stack number two die and I love these shapes so I have all three of the button stacks now I like how they've been releasing these I haven't actually used any of my button stack dies yet but I'm excited to use them. And then this one I'm really excited about. It'll look super cute on layouts. This is the stenciled alphabet blocks die. So you have the little alphabet blocks. And they look like you know they're little banners that you could hang them kind of thing. And they cut out the little stenciled letters. I love it. I think it's super cute. And then you've got a star and then an empty one. So I love that. And then the last thing I got from the April release was the Monthly Moments April Collection. So I got the stamp set. So it's the Monthly Moments April. And you've got the April word. You've got three different Easter eggs up here. You've got a little flower. Um, remember this. Happy Easter. So cute. Egg hunt. Easter basket, Easter bunny, April showers, rain, rain, go away, happy Earth Day, and then the solid Earth, and then the continents. Um, you are my world, and welcome spring. I like this one right here. There's a little dot right here. An umbrella handle, the umbrella, a raindrop, this and that, and I think I said the rest of them. So there's that one. I like the world and the umbrella a lot. And then there's the April Ward die. And then there were two dies in this collection. This was the April Journal card, which I think this is the 3x4 probably. Let me check. It might be a little bit smaller. Oh, see, this is smaller. This is 3.5 by 2.5. And it's sized to fit into the journal card pocket number one die. So this would fit right in here. And then this would be the 3x4. So this would fit in there. And then this would just fit in here. You could put the whole thing in your in your sleeve, in your photo sleeve. And then also comes with the journal card collection. So let me open it so I can show you. I love these. Heather, Heather Nichols is doing a really good job with these. These are cute. I love the little bunny. Little polka dots. I like the flowers one. I love the little chickie down there. The eggs. Oops. I like the rain, the umbrellas, and the raindrops. Make Everyday Earth Day. I like that. That's something that I taught my kids about in school. We talked about it a lot. These flowers. You make me happy when skies are gray. Polka dots. Scallop frame. More polka dots and then a little grid with eggs. Journaling card. Little chickies. They're all facing this one who's looking back at them. So cute. And then you have the story and this one with the flower. So 
that's what I got from the April release. And there was more that I wanted, but again, you have to cut somewhere. You can't always get everything you want, especially when you have a house payment. So, yeah. And then I did order from the May release, too. So I got the Keep It Simple Sympathy. So you've got With Sympathy in five different fonts here. No, six different fonts. So you can get one that matches your card. Um, the Birthday Classics June set. I like the sun in this one. So it says, Wishing you all the summertime fun that June brings for your birthday. And you have June birthdays are the most fun. Happy June birthday. Happy summer birthday. Wishing you a beautiful summer birthday. Wishing you a beautiful June birthday. So lots of different combinations you can do there. And then I got the Phrase Play Number 4 stamp set. And this is the one with the enjoy down the side. So you could either use it this way or this way. I guess you could maybe use it that way too. I don't know. You could use it either way. And then you have enjoy the special moment from me to you. The ride. Enjoy the ride. Enjoy the good times. Enjoy your big day. You earn this. Enjoy. Uh, enjoy your birthday. Or enjoy the little things. Or enjoy the small token. And there's an exclamation point. So lots of different things you can use that one for. And then <clears throat> I picked up the wet paint number three set. And this one's kind of more for cards. Um, you have congrats you did it, congrats happy for you, friends like you are a blessing, friends forever, um, start every day with a smile, or smile someone loves you, time to celebrate, celebrate today, S celebrate it's your birthday, um, sending big hugs, sending well wishes, and then you've got this circle with the star in it. So again, that's supposed to be the watercolor look. Um, this one is also the watercolor look, this one's called Splat. So you've got the, the splat circles with wish big, smile, good times. I like this font better. And then you have two different ampersands, and I like that one more. And you have sweet, celebrate, and hello in like the normal fonts. And then I picked up the Summer Sweetness set, which is the popsicle set. So you've got the little um, third white and blue popsicle. Um, you've got like the two stick popsicle down here, and then just another popsicle. You've got little water, like the little juice strips. There's a popsicle um, stick here with wood grain. This one is like cross hatched. And then you have, hi there, sweetie. Um, your kindness melts my heart. You're the coolest. Enjoy summer. Beat the heat with something sweet. Let's get together and chill. A little something just for you. Stay cool. Treat yourself. Wishing you the sweetest birthday yet. So, that's nice. And then I did get somewhere in here a matching guide to go with it. So, that's the size of those. Lots of cute sayings in that one. And then I picked up the text block baby die and it says welcome to the world little angel. They released a lot of baby stuff this month. And then I did get the Circle Scribbles die, which I'm kind of intrigued about this one. I'd like to see how it cuts out. Let's see how it works. So you've got the three different sizes in here. These dies intrigue me. Like they're just so intricate looking. I don't know. Can't wait to see how they cut out. And then I got the... Life is Beautiful set, which is the new butterfly set, and I think this is a gorgeous butterfly. And it's really big, too, if you look here. This butterfly up top is pretty big. So, you've got the butterfly with the inside, you've got the, the smaller butterfly with the insides, and then these two little tiny butterflies. And then you have the word beautiful, and you have all these different things you can do. So, have a beautiful day, it's a beautiful day, this is a beautiful day. Do beautiful things with your life, or do beautiful things with your beautiful life. Um, something beautiful is on the horizon. Um, this is a beautiful day. Don't let it fly away. Um, be your own kind of beautiful. The world is more beautiful because you're in it. Wishing you a beautiful birthday. Um, give every day the chance to become the most beautiful day of your life. And you have a different beautiful here, and a different beautiful here. And this is my favorite. Next time when you think of beautiful things, don't forget to count yourself. I think that's really sweet. And you have these little little pieces over here. So you can do some things with that. 
And then here's the matching die to cut the big butterfly. So this one would cut it with the holes and this one down here would cut the solid butterfly. So you could cut this in a different color and layer it on top of that one. Or you could just cut this one out too. So there's that. <coughs> and then I got the monthly moments kit for May. And this one was a cute one. And included in my box, they did send another freebie, so I think maybe they're just sending these in to give people samples of them, I guess. And this is from the the May journal card kit, and I love it. The best things in life aren't things, and that's a gorgeous, gorgeous one right there. And then I like these little flowers over here, too. So it's nice that they're including those. Um, and then here's the stamp set. You have the word May, May flowers, in memory. <coughs> Um, excuse me. Um, good things. You have this little leaf branch here. The little two flowers. Happy Mother's Day. You have the two parts of the butterfly, so the body and the wings. Happy day. Find joy. You have the circle with enjoy, the circle with dreams. Um, when this butterfly is meant to fit inside of this border here. So, um, yeah, the butterfly is meant to fit inside of there, I think. Or you could put the words in there. Um, or you could put, you know, like the good things in there. So this is good things. You could fit it in the circle. So there's that. And then <coughs> here's the May die. And then I don't know which one is which because I don't. When I was looking at these online, I didn't see a difference for the longest time until I finally, like, was staring at them. I finally noticed a difference between them. But there's instant photo one and instant photo two die. Um, so in case you guys missed it, the, this one, the corners on the outside are rounded and the inside is a square. <coughs> Whereas this one, the outside is square and the inside is rounded. So that's the difference between the two. And for the longest time I sat there staring at, at Nicole's blog trying to figure out what was different between these two dies. But there it is. And I think these are, again, probably 3 by 4 Let me check. Yeah, 3 by 4 So um, there's those. <clears throat> and then the journal card collection. I meant to open these before I filmed this and I forgot. This one is really nice. It's pretty. Got these beautiful flowers in here. They're like the circle scribble flowers. I like it. It's a beautiful butterfly. Love that. So they're big on butterflies this month. <clears throat> Here's the best things in life aren't things one again. I guess you only get one of those. I'm going to get two. So now I have three of those. How nice. Take note. One with the flowers. This journaling card one. This one. Faith wants to say hi. I like this flower one. And then this big polka dots. This is really nice. Butterflies. Faith wants to say hi. Hi, Faithy! You hear me yelling at you? Hi, Faye! How you doing? She's looking at Hi, Faye! You're in Mommy's way. Yeah, she doesn't care. So there's the butterfly one. Um, I'll look back on this and smile. Faye, you're in your way. You're in your way. <laughs> Sorry. I like this one. That one's really pretty. Um, this one. I like this, how it has... Um, Hey, move! It's got the numbers down the side. <laughs> Sorry guys, she wants attention. And then this one is just a bigger version of that one. Uh, these two. There's butterflies down there on that one. This one. The chevron. Another scalloped one. And then life is sweet and then the two butterflies. And then the last thing that I got that I am most excited for, and I don't know why I'm so excited for it, because I'm not pregnant, and I don't have a child, and I don't plan on having a child for several more years, just in case you guys were wondering if that's why I bought this. It's not. I'm not pregnant. Um, I mean, I know one pregnant person is my boss, but I'm not necessarily sure that I would do this for her, but... Um, I thought it was just the cutest thing ever and I couldn't wait to get it and try it and I might even, I might break this out this weekend and try it, but I got the baby booty die. Look how adorable it is. 
So it has all the pieces to make actual baby booties that the little babies can wear. So it's just, it's so cute. So this is the sole. This is the part that, you know, is the, the, the main part. And then this is like the little tag that goes on the back of the baby booty so you can like put it on and off. It's so cute. Look how cute it is. They had the cutest examples of it. I, <laughs> I don't, again, I'm not pregnant. I don't know why I needed this, but so cute. And then I got the um, baby booty detail die. So you can make like four different types of baby booties. So you can make like a regular baby booty. You can make the fringe baby booty. So there's little fringy pieces on it. Um, this is like the little saddle bow. There's like a bow on it. It's this cute little piece that goes on top and then a bow. It's really cute. And then this one is the penny loafer ones. You can make little penny loafer booties. And this is... This was maybe the Mary Jane one, I think. Or... I don't know. I think this might have been the Mary Jane one. And this is... Yeah, I think the penny loafer. So you can make four different types of baby booties plus the original baby booty. Which is so cute. I honestly think that I will pull this out and try it this weekend because I'm so excited to have it in my hand. And then the last thing I got is the uh, Baby Booty Patches die. So you can put um, <clears throat> little patches on the on the soles here, on the bottoms, on the, on the outside. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to try and play with that this weekend. So if I make something, I'll, I'll share it. But I don't sew at all in my life, ever. But Erin sh keeps showing all these really simple stitching dies that she's coming out with, so um, we'll see. Anyway, that is it. I hope you guys have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend, and I will hopefully be getting some time to craft because it's Thursday, and I get Friday off, and I get Saturday, Sunday, and Monday off. So I have a four-day weekend, so I am thrilled. So, um... Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I will see you again soon. Bye.